Welcome back. I'm Chris Highland. Thanks so much for joining us here at Courageous Media, where we try to find talent in unusual places, look for talent that's overcome obstacles, and just enjoy great talent, frankly. And so today we're going to be checking out a video by Dimash. It's an actual music video, not a live performance. And so shout out to Fan DQ, Minerva, and Judy from the comments, as well as a whole bunch of others who suggested that I check out the story of one Scott. So that's what we're going to do today. And in looking at it, it seems to be about a 13 minute little, and as they say, Dimash likes to make mini movies when he makes music videos. So I'm excited to see it. I'm pumped up. Before we do, could you please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends, relatives, enemies, anybody that you know, or don't know for that matter. Uh, we're really trying to grow to 5,000 subscribers and could use all your help. Thank you so much for your support so far. But without further ado, let's go check out the story of One Sky by Dimash. All right, good for you. Because the last thing I wanted was to start a 13 minute music video with the death, the drowning death of a child. So uh, at least that ended well, but that was hey, well done in terms of the drama, in terms of the lead up, in terms of, I mean, I am thoroughly engaged now. What a fantastic hook. So let's back up a little bit, right? When he starts breathing again and we'll keep going. I don't want to ruin the vibe. Okay, so it's the same three people a little bit later back on the beach. Okay, so he made identical gifts for all three of them. All right. So far, I'm totally intrigued by the by the video. It's it's complete mystery so far, but I love his voice coming in in the beginning. Very soft, very melodic, 
and it just fits with the whole genre so far of the actual, I mean, I'm going to call it a movie because I really don't know what else to call it so far. As a ruler, my task is to keep order and protect my country. But I don't deprive you of your freedom. The world is open for me. And I want to give it to you. His voice is still beautiful. And it's almost, it's interesting because his voice is almost background to what's going on. I can hear it, but it's it's registering less than the actual video. And I'm trying to figure out, based on the, the cutaway shot with the little emblem on the uniform, is the ruler, the dictator, whoever this guy is, is he the little boy from the beach? If just somebody's in the comments has figured it out. Now, we've got another 10 minutes left of this movie, so <laughs> it may be all revealed. So I apologize if I'm breaking this up, but I'm really intrigued by this and trying to figure out what's going on. But clearly, that's the shape of the gift that he gave all three of them. And protect my country. But I don't deprive you of your freedom. The world is open for me. And I want to give it to you. Okay, the cinematography, the actual film itself is phenomenal. His voice is beautiful in the background. And I also love the lyrics of the song that I'm hearing. And if somebody can let me know in the comments, did he, did he write the lyrics? Did he compose and write this whole thing? Last chance is here. Can we balance on the edge of a fiery grave? Our future, is it possible to save? We're choosing life. We're choosing life. I mean, to me, this is very much an indictment of the whole of the 20th century or more, or the 21st century that we live in now. The whole idea that we can unite people with war. I mean, frankly, that, you know, it's an idiotic idea. War does nothing but tear people apart unless you happen to be all on the same side. Uh, so, yeah, it might unite a country against another country, but you're still dividing two peoples. I love this so far. His voice is beautiful. Let's keep going. We have passed the moment of
Okay, so clearly the three people from the beginning, we've, we've seen at least two of them. The dictator was, it appears to be the boy who was drowning, who was saved by the other boy, who then went and made gifts for all three of the friends. I don't know if the woman pictured with the child was supposed to be the girl from the beach, but it's clear that we've got two people on the, on the opposite side now of a huge war that were once friends, one of whom even saved the other's life. So this is interesting. his voice is just amazing. The fact that he can hold that long note and staccato it in the middle is just, I mean, it's just phenomenal. is absolutely beautiful and it's it's very it's it's interesting how he's composed it with the film it's not quite like a broadway voice because there's not a whole lot of there's less lyrics involved and the lyrics aren't telling the story the actual film is but it i mean to me it's clear he's walked into his wife and child who have been massacred with the rest of the people in this building um and his emotion is believable.
okay, the way I see it, and I could be wrong, the baby that was born was the dictator's baby. And he had a wife and child, but they but he found them in the building and they were they were massacred. So the idea being that even though he killed the dictator, this this show will go on, maybe. Wow, that was powerful. That was unexpected. I mean, the last video that we reviewed with the vampires was was very dark, but it was very much about his voice. This was very much not about his voice. It was about the actual video, the actual movie. And his voice was the background. He took second stage to the cinematography. And I thought it was very well done. I still loved his voice, especially when it came through in parts. Where it was that where it was the centerpiece, but the idea that war is the enemy, I think he's absolutely correct. We have gotten into far too many pointless, stupid wars that were not fought over any real ideological differences. Most of the wars we fight nowadays are are fought at the hands of a few globalist elites who are trying to advance a particular narrative or a particular profit motive. The war in Ukraine could have been prevented up front. Joe Biden hadn't been such a weakling, if Joe Biden hadn't actually invited it to happen, if Joe Biden, I don't think, actually didn't want it to happen in Ukraine because of what he's trying to cover up there. And the other wars that we see constantly over and over again, which seem to just benefit a few. So if his, if his, if his message, which it seems to be, especially in the lyrics of, you know, we balance on the edge of a fiery grave, is it possible to save our future? We're choosing life. We're choosing life. We're turning away from this stuff to stop ceding power to a few globalist elites who continually walk us into these wars. I'm in complete agreement. War is the enemy. Just like that was the message of the movie Crimson Tide. That in today's nuclear era, oftentimes, even more so than our ideological or foreign enemy, war is the enemy itself. And so let's hope that we can all make a difference and live in tolerance and letting other people have their beliefs and not trying to trample everybody. As Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so with that, I leave you after a very heavy video with the good news that even in the midst of all this, even in the midst of all the pain and all the suffering that we see in the world around us, God is sovereign and he is in control and he is working a plan for the redemption of all mankind. And God is good, and it'll all be good in the end. And if it's not yet good, then it's not yet the end. And so with that, I bid you adieu until we see each other again. Thank you so much. Please smash that like button. Let us know how we're doing in the comments.